to Robert Amsterdam to continue the case for the opposition. Russia and the knowledge of her plight has done nothing 
because Western banks have empowered the Kremlin. Google is not alone. Yahoo is not alone. ABN AMRO is a bank that funds those who destroy human rights in Russia. We have an entire government under Gerhard Schroeder that did that, and they sponsored the internet at the same time. The internet is a very powerful and dangerous device. And while I don't say we need more regulation, I will tell you that we cannot be blind to those who have taken over the internet. The naivete of the motion itself is offensive. Is the internet the greatest force for democracy? I beg to differ. The question in 10 years will be, is the internet a force that we can survive? The question in 10 years may be, how many video cameras hooked into the internet watch me every day as I leave my house and take my children to school? And if I spank my daughter on the corner, as I am wont to do when she's late occasionally, when, will a voice come out and scream at me to stop and then take my picture and refer it on to Big Brother for comment and sanction? Every instrument and every tool exists and can be manipulated. But I had a friend in Moscow. I had a friend who's no longer with us today. Her name was Anna Politkovskaya. And Anna Politkovskaya had a theory. And every time I give a speech, I mention her name because I don't want her memory to die. And Anna's theory was called the doppelganger. And the doppelganger is something very important for people involved with the internet to understand. The doppelganger is the outgrowth of Putinism. And what the doppelganger means is that Mr. Putin is out to steal our language. So are the North Koreans. So, the, so is the Burmese junta. Remember, the North Korean government is entitled democratic. It is the democratic people. Remember that in Russia, it is Mr. Putin who has sponsored a new council on human rights. Remember, it is Mr. Putin that at the same time that he has done that, continues to promote the internet in Russia. The Russian internet has no better proponent than Mr. Putin because he knows it's safely in the hands of the secret police. You don't know that, but he does. But when he steals our language, and then that theft is propagated 25 million times a day, and the secret police set, set up people on every chat room to repeat it and multiply it, and we make the assumption, because we believe in the free market, that these are all individuals. These are all people who, who aren't being paid by the crowd. And let's not be too hard on the Russians. Let's talk about the Chinese. How much democracy has occurred in China since so many of them got computers? When was the last democratic election? In fact, isn't it true that in China today, post-internet China, there is less hope for democracy than there was immediately after Tiananmen? Isn't that because, to some extent, the internet is a great pacifier? It takes our time, it takes our interests, it channels us into 17,000 different things, and we never manage to actually communicate with like-minded people. We don't take the time to find them out. I know that wall that you scroll on. I've seen it. It's called the Berlin Wall, and it came down because of the people I knew who scrawled on that wall. There was something to the power of that. There was something basic, there was something human, and it mattered. And I urge all of you not to desecrate their name by supporting this motion. Thank you very much.